I'm gonna go lightning round on Jacob. Jacob, you're in. Uh, but we are. Yo, Jacob. Here, what's up? We are. I heard myself there. How? How? Yeah. That sounds good. That was a, no. It's, it does. I like it. Okay. Turn this off. Okay, we're back to square one. Rewind Whoa. that. Rewind it. Yeah, bring it back. Can we bring it? It's not. We got not. We're not responding. No. I've got no response. I, I tried to do a little take that sound effect of rewind. We got. Well, there we're we're responding. Deck A. I've got no response. I. I, I who knows. Okay. We're gonna spin up the background music. This, wow, look at that. This is like a swamp thing. Palace Bilo. Bil Biloco. Ooh. Nasty. Hey, um, so Jacob, I was saying lightning round, but man, I was I was thinking of getting to that prank call. I don't know. What do you think? I think maybe we should go with like a classic. I think you bring it back to the classic sometimes. You reimagine them, you remix them. Yeah. You re reflipperizer, you know, the whole thing. I'm thinking that I'll, I'll go with a classic. What's that? What classic? Well, you'll see. I'll, 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 I'll pen it oh. out once I get the call up. But I mean, if I don't hurry up, I mean, shit. The mall just closed. It's nine. It's nine oh one. Oh shit. If you can. You're not gonna make some mall lady real angry. If you could cry out loud. You're not gonna make the cashier at Hot Topic real, real aggravated. I don't think I ever get him real aggravated. I think I get him mildly amused at best. Well, what's your that's a good question. What's your favorite prank call you've ever done? Do you, oh. have, a, do you have a favorite? I really, really, really like when I I tell someone that they should let their manager know that they're helping me out with like a fucking toaster oven or a, 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 a video card or something. And then they can just kind of fuck off and talk to me and listen to like music and stuff. And then I really get the, the, the entry level employee on my side. And then we're just like hanging out on the phone, listening to music, while his ma manager thinks he's uh, working. It's yeah. like my way of sticking it to the man. I feel like the two types we've seen so far have been like they're either not with you and they'd hang up in like a minute, or like they're bored as fuck at their job and they're like totally with it. Oh, they'll like, just stay on for yeah. Yeah, for and they whatever. know you're talking to them or whatever, and they'll like they'll keep going. That's fun. Well, I'll try to find somewhere who's still open. I mean, God. I bet I could do it. I think you could do it. I can, you Which know place, what? The place have you hit up the most, do you think, in your, in your 185, uh, you know, bicentennial? I do tend to call, you know, I tend to, I tend to call, um, what's it? It's, uh, it's like a, a Abercrombie yeah. and Fitch or like American Eagle Outfitters a lot. Oh, Stories great. that I would never buy clothing at. You don't get American Eagle? But that I know high school kids are working at. American Eagle's my favorite. You're a big AE guy, you put it on. Yeah, I'm more about just taking my shirt off and pounding the brisky. Like that's just kind of my lifestyle. Hell yeah! You know what? I go out to a field in a in a pickup truck with my friends, and it's always a mixed race of people. So we always have equal presence, yeah, and then I mean, uh, there's always a, a equal amount of, of men and women too. Always balanced, and we just sit on the back of my truck in a field and we drink beer. And like, yeah, I take my shirt off, but I've got yeah. like corduroy shorts on. And like I have an anchor tattoo, but it's fine. Like my abs look really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And cool. like maybe sometimes one of the like strawberry blonde girls will put like a little um, piece of like hay from the field in her straw cowboy hat. And that's like kind of cute, you know. Like, yeah. And then that. like our one friend, he's got a DSLR and he's like snapping little snapshot photos, and it's like oh she puts it in her mouth, whatever, you know. And she's got on like a flannel cuffed. And maybe it comes up straight up to the arms, you oh, know. It's true. and yeah. it's 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 just cl it's a classic look. Oh, oh, whoa! You have on. Do you shop at American Eagle? No. No. Okay, that's. We just happened to hit on a coincidence. Whoa. We just happened to hit. That's not. That's what is that? Is that Dickies? Is that Mosimo? That looks like Mosimo. We're not doing American Eagle here. Whoa, that could have been a that could have been a big alert. That could have been DuckCon 10, but yeah. We're good. Trish seems to be taking to the dungeon. Yeah. 
How in in a word, what do you think? Uh, yikes. Wow, yikes. I was asking her, but yikes. Oh, sorry. No, no worries, Jacob. Jacob, I think I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna make that prank call. Yeah, you go ahead. I'm excited. I'll listen in. It sounds good. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, and uh, I'll, f I'll find who's responsible. Yeah, you call, hey, you call Abercrombie and Fitch, you know, you give them a good word. This message brought to you by Bud Light. I'm excited. Wow. You're, you're a lot of plugs there. Yeah. Two more. Two more, please. <laughs> Uh, this, this ad now brought by uh, the NRA and the Bellas. Uh, happy hunting. Happy hunting, folks. And that was Jacob calling in. So what I'm going to do is try to set up uh, this next prank call. 